much. So will you. Big round of applause for Sean Woodley! <laughs> Good people though. I love Americans. I love them. Good, solid people. You meet an American anywhere in the world and they'll say something like, Hi, how are you? <laughs> an open-ended question because they're nice people. They love a chat. They really do want to know how you are. Unlike Australians, we're way too smart for that. We've worked out what to do. We say something like, how you going, mate? Good. <laughs> we give you one choice, don't we? <laughs> not only do we not care how you are, we definitely don't want you to tell us about it, do we? <laughs> right, so this is Bozo, Daddy Bong Legs, War Torn Hurts Agoba, Frenulum, Dingus, Snatch Squatch, Mr. Jumble Pockets, Marilyn Danson, Boutros Boutros Gali, Hawaiian Pack, Snipper, Clipper, The Rizza, Ugly Jim, Good Profile Jim. Guys, this is Cassie. He's a comedian. <laughs> I had a mate ring me recently, hadn't spoken for ages. Straight into the misery. He's like, mate, just ringing a tad here. I've been doing it a bit tough lately. So that's really sad, mate. And in 10 weeks' time, and are you okay, Dave? You can tell me all about it then. <laughs> I know what it's like to be misidentified. One time the cops thought I'd nicked a bite, but it was my mate. I was just holding it for him. So, solidarity. The only thing I know, like I know fear, right? I know fear. I've been in a room with two women that don't like each other. I know fear. I've been halfway through a wee and the toilet seat started to drop. Like I, I... I'm only doing this because they promised me a packet of cigs. And I get mistaken for a racist all the time. Usually at those Reclaim Australia rallies that I go to. But... Push, 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 you culinary imbecile. For some reason, it's acceptable for me to hurl abuse at you in the kitchen, whereas in any other occupation, it'd get me fired. Yes, chef. You guys, here, you are a really good crowd, because you can imagine you can imagine doing this, you don't always get good crowds. And you, sometimes you get difficult individuals within those crowds, which makes it even more difficult. I was doing a gig towards the end of last year, halfway through my set, for no apparent reason, this lady, who I suspect had been drinking a little bit too much, just yells out, you wouldn't get hassled by hecklers too often. And because I'm thinking that's what you're doing right now by interrupting the show, you're heckling. But I was intrigued. I said, oh, what makes you say that? And she goes, because you're a really tough looking bloke. And that really cracked me up, right? Because I thought, had she seen me the day before holding up my five year old daughter to protect myself from a swooping magpie? <laughs> Come on, you've got five minutes to go. Plus another 40 hours you won't be paid for. Push, push, push. It's good living over here, just where I live. I, uh, I live right opposite the racetrack, Ramwick Racecourse. And uh, so I get to see some quite entertaining stuff. And uh, last week on the race day, uh, I saw a South Sydney, one of the football teams, one of their fans getting arrested. Now that may not surprise anyone too much. And uh, the reason, of course, that I knew this guy was a South fan is because he was wearing his um, ankle monitor. And... <laughs> And he was getting arrested. He was doing some graffiti on a wall and I looked at it, childish, immature stuff. But what it did, it immediately reminded me of how at school I used to sneak into the empty classrooms at lunchtime whenever I could and do those massive dick and balls drawings <laughs> all over the blackboards. Till I got caught and they fired me. <laughs> I gotta leave it there. Thank you very much, everyone. This what am I fucking doing this for?